Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Functional Strength. My name is Annalise, um, and I'm an exercise physiologist here at Positive Choice. So this morning, um, we are going to focus on spinal health. Okay, so specifically, um, you know, getting our our back uh, more stretchy and strong. So. The thing that we don't think about a lot when we're looking at our back health is we think, well, our spine is there, and then we attribute a lot of pain that we might have with um, the actual vertebrae, but mostly it is attributed to not having strength or flexibility along our muscles in our spinal column that support that, right? And then when we lack function, when we lack strength, when we lack flexibility, then it impedes on our ability to move, and that's where we get pain at. So um, today you will need a strap or a belt, or you can use a hand towel, um, anything to just create distance, okay? And we're gonna start on the floor. So set your mat up, get water, get yourself a towel. Um, come on up, just take a few deep breaths. And remember, that you can always do this sitting in a chair too. So if you don't want to come down on the ground, that's okay. Good, big inhale. Exhale, one more time, fill up those lungs. Excellent, exhale, give me a little shoulder roll, just easing in. And just so you know, go the other way. We're going to go from the floor to standing, which means we're going to go from um, things that are good for basic, right? If you're a little bit like newer, you have any back pain, if you're like easing into back health, we're going to start on the ground. So that'll be where you start. And then we're going to increase into the standing one, which will be a little bit more challenging. So do as much or as little of this workout as you need to modify anything and know that this is meant for general fitness this is not meant to override any medical advice so keep that in mind while we're while we're going so let's start on over in tabletop and if your knees are sensitive to being on the ground which mine kind of are i don't it's not a great feeling so i like to roll my mat up and then get yourself stacked so that your hands are right underneath your shoulders, your knees are right underneath your hips. And we're just going to start by rounding your back. Stay here and press those shoulder blades away. Tuck your chin to your chest. Round your pelvis in. And then let's go the other way and arch your back and look up. And stay here for a few breaths. Good. Press that belly into the ground. Open up. And then we're going to add breath to movement. So, big inhale right here. And then on the exhale, round your back and blow out. And inhale. And exhale. Come on back. Let's try that other 
Nicely done, you guys. Switch. And switch. Squeeze that glute. Feel your booty turn on to hold that leg up. Now this time you're going to hold. And we're going to add that spinal curve into this. So I want you to bring that elbow and knee together underneath you. And then extend out, reaching to the ends of the room. And use your breath. So exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And remember, you can always just do the arm if you need a little bit of balance. If you're not quite there, that's okay. Good. Let's do three more. Good. Last one. Pull. Come on down. Switch sides. So get that foot out. Arm up. Reach up. Square everything to the ground. And then when you're ready, Big inhale, and then on that exhale, pull elbow to knee. Extend. Good job, everybody. Use that breath. And if your back is getting tired, take a break. Big extension. Four. Last one, last one. Hold it out. Bring it back in. Let's get that back a little counter stretch. So move those knees out to the width of your mat and then sit back. Toes together. Walk those hands up. Take some big deep breaths here. Let that spine drop into the ground. And then we're going to walk your hands over, stretch through that lats, opening up through your side body. Walk it back through the center. Walk it to the other side, hand over hand, drop down, feel that stretch. Come on back to the center, one more, drop down. Walk those hands out just a little bit further than you would normally. And then when you're ready, come on back to tabletop. So now we're going to get into some spinal twisting. So we're going to thread the needle. We're going to start with your hand maintaining contact with the ground. And then you're going to thread your opposite hand under. Now, this is a good time if you're on your mat. I like to have a little cushion on my head so that my face is not on my mat. This is option one. Option two, you can take this hand, if you feel good, and wrap it around. So we're stretching through the shoulder, we're stretching through the spine. And when you're ready, plant that hand at back underneath if you haven't already. Unthread that needle. And then let's go to the other side. So for the other side, I'm just going to turn towards you so you can get a front view of this. We have your hand planted right underneath your shoulder. Thread that needle and come on down. Stay here, let that spine kind of sink into that twist. And then if you want to add, you're going to add that hand and wrap it around your back. Big deep breaths. And unwrap that hand, bring it on back. Come on up. Excellent. And now we're going to twist the other way. So, I'm going to go to the side. I want you to take your right leg back, and then right arm is going to twist up. Good. Stacking that hand right underneath the shoulder, and then come on down, bring that knee in. Extend back, open up. Now 
this is an option one. Option two is keep both knees down and twist through the spine. This requires more movement through the spine to open up and come on down. Go to the other side. And you might notice that one side is harder than the other. For me, my left side does not have the flexibility that my right side has. That's okay. That's why we do the work. And twist. Good, and twist. Keep going. If you are seated, if you're in a chair, you're reaching behind you. And switch. So we're still going through that spinal movement, and switch. Good, let's get one more big reach, big reach. Go to the other side. And come on down. Good job, you guys. Give it a little, a little twist for those wrists. We're gonna take a break on me in our belly to the mat position, and we're gonna go back to the mat. So if you want to get water, towel off anything, do that, and then when you're ready, come on down. Come on down. So core is really important for your spinal health, right? Because the more our core can engage, the less pressure goes on our back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just basic stability, hands on the ground, and then bring your feet up. Now option here for starting you can put your hands underneath your booty, okay, underneath that pelvis, and that will help just to tilt your pelvis up. And this is a great way to add stability. And then as you get stronger, you can take your hands out to the side. But the important thing is, is that we feel this in our belly, not in our back. So pull that belly button towards the spine, Hug those shoulders underneath you, and we're just holding here. And you guys have already done 15 seconds, if you've been doing it this whole time while I've been talking. And hopefully you're getting a little shaky. Keep those feet up, good, and bring it down. So it's 30 seconds, you guys. If you got through it, great job. If you didn't, guess what you need to work on? Okay, we're gonna come back. Second stability right here. We're gonna add to this, and you're just going to lift up and hold. So now, you have your full rectus abdominis engaged. Stay here, we got 15 more seconds, and I am timing it for you. So don't you worry, you just relax and hold that position no matter what. We got five more seconds, you guys. You're doing great. You're doing great. And drop. Woo! Good job. All right. Now we're going to add a little spinal twist to this. If that was really challenging, feel free to stay with that for another couple of runs. If you want to move on, what we're going to do is we're going to add some side-to-side -side movement. So come on back here, and you're going to drop your knees. And we're going to start at just 45 degrees, okay? Hands out to the side, wherever you feel comfortable. Bring it back in the center. And then go the other way. Bring it back in. So 45 degrees feels good to you. You can stay with that. If you want a little bit more challenge, let it go all the way down to the ground. And then pick it up and bring it back to the center. Don't worry about tempo. Worry about form. Worry about getting the full range of motion. And what you'll notice with this move is you will slowly be inching your way down your mat. I 
don't think there is any way around it. We are moving. And you should also be getting a little low back massage with this. Good job, you guys. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna do two more. Last one. Come on back to center, then drop your feet down. Let's get a little counter stretch and just hip lift up. Contract your glutes here. Open up through the front of the hips. If you start to feel this in your back, lower down a little bit. Press your heels into the ground. You don't want this to be another strain on your back. Make it go into your legs. And then if you want, tuck your arms underneath you, grab your hands, and press your pinkies into the ground. Pressing those hips up to the ceiling, opening up through the front body, getting that good counter work, getting good stability, take big deep breaths. And now, if you haven't already, move your hands down to the side, don't let go of those hips. And from your shoulders, heel yourself back into the mat. I want you to feel every single vertebrae. And that means in your low back too, so that pelvis is the last to go. Now we're gonna do a few of these and really connect that mind and that body. So heel up the other way. So tilt the pelvis, press the low back into the ground. Then Heel up, vertebrae by vertebrae, off that ground, all the way up to the shoulders, or to whatever height feels good to you. And then we're gonna go the other way. So one vertebrae at a time, make it slow. Don't rush through this. Tuck that pelvis, make sure that you get that low back, and then don't forget to arch that back to press that sacrum into the ground. Again, heel it up. Good job, everyone. And drop it down. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Connect that mind and body, get it to work for you. We're gonna do one more, heel it up. So, starting with that sacrum, tuck it, tuck it, lift off the mat. Come all the way up, hold here, hold, hold, hold. Hands come up overhead, clasp your hands. Keeping that booty up, I want you to take those hands over your head and then bring them back. So getting a little spinal stability here. Good job. And if you have any limited range of motion with your shoulders, go down just as far as you can. Hopefully those glutes are starting to get tired. They should be. Press down into those heels. You're looking great, you guys. Going for range of motion here. Good, give me two more. Last one, it is gonna feel so good to drop those hips and lift it up. Hands by your side first. Heel down, nice and slow. We're not just gonna let it go. We're not just gonna let it go. And drop down, extend those legs. Extend those arms, give yourself a big stretch in this position. We've got one more exercise down here on the ground. So bring those knees into the chest. We're gonna get a little spinal stretch before we flip on over. So bring those knees in tight, and then if you can, wrap up. Now this is a good position if you need your strap or your towel to wrap around your legs, anything to bridge that gap. 
press on up. We're gonna come back into a prone position, but this time we're gonna work plank. So now we're getting into some of the more advanced stuff. So, plank. We wanna be down on our forearms. And you have a few different options. I'm gonna show you the progression. Option one is here. I am nice and straight. I've got my abs turned on, but I don't even have my full body weight on my arms, okay? But I have my abs engaged. I can feel them. They feel like a zipper. That's good, okay? Option two is I can move my knees back, and now I really am a nice straight line. From head to knees, I pull my hips up until I feel my abs turn on. I don't want to feel too much weight in my arms. I don't want to feel any sagging in my back. And option three is toes down, hips up. So, now if you haven't already, I want you to pick your option because we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Big deep breaths, let it shake. If you need to take a break, do it, but come back. Rest, but don't quit. That's how you make progress. If you're still holding, you're well over halfway done, so I wouldn't quit now because you're almost there. Hold, 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 hold. Hold, 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 hold. And drop down. Good job, good job. Hands come underneath your shoulders. You can keep your hands here and just give a little bit of a press, or you can take your hands off and come on down. So keeping those feet on the ground, lifting up through the upper body. It's like a crunch for your back. Lift and come down and lift. And come down. And lift. Very good job. Let's do two more. And remember, you can keep your hands planted. A little bit of support. And now come on down. We're going to do lower body. So I'm going to grab my towel here. So that I can put my head on it. Because hands are going to come by the side. And then you're going to lift your legs. I want you to relax that upper body. Squeeze those legs. Good job. Don't forget to breathe. Put your head wherever is comfortable for you. Could be off the mat. You got three more. Here's three. Two. Last one, come on down. We're gonna go in for that second set of plank, okay? You know the options. This time is gonna be easier if this is your first time doing plank because the second time is always easier. Your brain knows what's coming. So I want you to pick your position. You guys ready? 30 seconds, come on up. Come on up. Going for that stability. Connect your mind and body. I want you to feel this through the front side, side of your abs. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Pull your shoulder blades towards your spine. You're almost there. We made it in three, two, one. Drop down. Woo! Shake it out, good job. Ideally, we like to work up to holding mat for a minute. So, if you guys are doing this workout on your own, I would suggest pausing and working your way up to a minute. Let's get a second set of these back. Exercises, but this time we're gonna do full back. If it bothers you, then pick either the lower or the upper, I'll leave it up to you. But what I want you to do is lift up and then pull the elbows back to the spine. Reach, come down. Lift, pull. Good. And you can always do just the upper body as well. Nice. Strong spine right here. Squeeze those lats, elbows to the rib cage. 
Two more. Last one. All the way up and down. Hands underneath your shoulders. Flex your feet. We're going to get that back in that nice little counter stretch. So sit back in your child's pose again. Big deep breaths. Allow that spine just to let go. And then bring those hands underneath the shoulders and slowly peel yourself up. Big deep breath. Exhale, let it all go. Good. Get yourself some water. We're going to some standing. So I'm going to move my mat off to the side here. How long do you need to, how are you feeling? You should feel pretty good. Okay. So we did a lot of stability so far. We did a lot of movement, getting blood flow back there. Now we're gonna put this together in a standing position, because a lot of times we are standing. And we're nice and warm. We're nice and flexible through our spine, so we're going to add to that. And I want you to grab your strap and take it as wide as you need. You'll see here in a second. We're going to get our side-to-side -side flexion going. So, take it wide, relax your shoulders down. You can take your feet as close as you want. And we're just going to drop down to the right side. So left hand is overhead. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling down. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Big inhale. Come through the center. Now let's go to the other side. So going. And you might notice that one side is tighter than the other. Opening up that chest. Big inhale, come on through the center. Exhale, let's go on to the other side. Beautiful work, you guys. And come on up. Other side. Open up through that side body. Press that opposite hip away. And big inhale, come on through the center. Yeah, your arms need a little break. Shake them out. Because we're going to add balance to this. Final stability under movement. Arms up. Retract your shoulder blades. Pull your abs in and go from this arch position where see how my belly is kind of in front of my midline? Pull everything to your midline. Soften your knees. Press your hips back a little bit. And then when you're ready, shift your weight to your right foot. Soften that standing leg. Pull your abs in, and without moving anything other than your leg, pull your knee up. And then come on down. Shift your weight to your left leg, and lift that right leg. Good. And come on down. Now on this side, we're going to hold it for a second, so shift your weight. Bring it up. Hold. Retract your shoulders. Can't get it up this high, that's okay. And then come on down. Let's shift to the other side. You can also start this if you find your balance is really, really wobbly. You can start this here. Or you can start with holding to the wall. Switch sides, up and hold. Flex that foot. Beautiful. If your standing leg is kind of shaky, it's wobbling around, that's okay. Come on down, one more. One more. Pick it up. Hold. Good. Bring everything down. Shake it out. Okay. Now, let's get into our legs a little bit more. We're going to go back lunges. So, starting from that right leg, you're going to step your left leg back. Come down. Come on up, pull 
more without the strap. And then pause, and we're gonna take that strap out front. So shoulder height, as wide as you feel comfortable. Starting with that left leg, step back. Ah! Sometimes I lose my balance too. Come on down, twist towards that right leg, come back center, pull up, stand up. Good, opposite side, nice and slow. We'll get to tempo here, but I want you to feel this out. Twist, pull up, step, twist, center, up. Yes, beautiful. See why I saved this for near the end? Good job. Step, twist, center, pull up. Step back, twist. Getting tired yet? Should be starting to feel that fatigue. Good. We need four more. Here's three. Two. Give me one more. Nice big rotation. Twist, twist, twist. Good. Come up. Very good job. All right. We're going to do a second set of that balance. So, arms up. Catch your breath. Switch the weight to the right foot to start. Left leg lifts. Pull those abs in. And come on down. Switch. And switch. Try and find as much stability as you can. And remember, if you cannot pick up your foot, that's okay. The point is challenge. The point is not doing exactly what I'm doing. And switch. And switch. See, I need, I need that mind-body connection as I get fatigued, they start losing a little bit of my balance. That's okay. Right? We're here to get better. We're not here to be perfect. We're here to make progress. Good. Here's four. And three. Stay with it. Shoulders away from those ears. I know when we get tense, those shoulders move up. Don't let them do it. Last one. Good. Shake it out, shake it out, shake those legs out. You know we're gonna do one more set of those lunges, right? We gotta, we gotta get it in. So readjust that strap, or if you're using a towel or a belt, whatever you got, shake it out. Okay, big deep breath. Get yourself set up. We're gonna start with that left leg back, and we're gonna twist to the right, so step back, twist, up, good. And if you want a little bit of different tempo, you can take it down, you can take it up, but remember the point is that twist, use your breath, exhale. So a little bit of a wide stance, and just 
walk your hands down your legs. Bend your knees a lot. I'm going to turn to the side so you can watch this progression. Keep your knees nice and bent. That will provide you a little bit of stability through your back. And as that starts to feel good on your back, what you want to do is straighten out your legs until your knees just have a very micro bend, soft bend, and drop your hands. And then when you're ready, elbows in the crooks of your, or fingers in the crooks of your elbow, drop your head, and kind of swing side to side. You'll feel a stretch through your back, you'll feel a stretch through your hamstrings. Do whatever feels good here. Good job, drop straight down, hang here for a second, just big deep breaths. And then when you're ready, unwind those hands, bend those knees a lot, bring the hands to the thighs, and round up one vertebrae at a time. Big inhale here, reach up, bring those feet together. And bring those arms to cactus. Okay. And then allow your back to open up. Bend slightly and reach your chest towards the ceiling. Good, 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 good. Big inhale here. Fold forward. So now we have our feet together. It's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, and that is okay. Bend your knees slightly, round yourself back up, come all the way up, reach up, big inhale. On that exhale, elbows come down, open that chest, give yourself a little back bend, open up. We're gonna go through this one more time, big inhale, reach it up, forward fold, bring yourself down. Good, round yourself on up. One more big inhale, reach it up. Exhale, open up. Good, and big inhale here. Exhale, good. Let's have a seat. You can stay standing, you can be on a chair. We're gonna get into our neck a little bit. So I'm gonna put my mat back out. Grab water if you need. Get yourself nice and comfy. Good. Sit comfortably. We cannot forget about our cervical spine. We hold a lot of tension through here. So take that right hand, drop it down by your side. Okay? Now, Take your left ear to your left shoulder. And I want you to actively use your muscles to press this shoulder away from that ear. And if you want a little bit of extra, just very, very light. Very, very light. We don't need a lot of tension on our neck. We have enough tension. Take some deep breaths. Good. Slowly let go. Bring that chin back to center. You can use your hand. Bring that hand up to your leg. Rest it there. Maybe give yourself a little, little shoulder roll. And then let's do it on the other side. So left hand drops down to the ground. Right ear to right shoulder. Press that shoulder down and away. So this is a little bit of mind-body. Contracting that shoulder to pull it actively away from your ear. And then if you want that little bit of extra tension. Good. And then release that hand. Let it help your head back up. Good, give yourself a little shoulder roll. 
you drop your head down and bring it up. And then give it a few rolls. Take a second here. Go the other way. Just getting some movement through that neck. Breathing. And then let's go side to side. So I want you to look over one shoulder. And if you want a little bit more stretch here, you can reach that opposite hand behind you. Come back to center. Good. Let's go the other side. Start with just the look. And then if you want, reach that hand behind you and back. And then come on back to center. Give yourself a little bit of shoulder rolls here. We're going to do one more stretch. This is a little bit more of an advanced move, so you can lay on your back and do this as well. But this is going to get into our glutes, which is attached to our back. So I want you to stack one leg underneath. We'll start with the right leg underneath and left leg. You're going to stack it over. So knee to knee. Knee over ankle on each side. And then sit up tall. So for some of you, this might be this might be enough. If you want a little bit more, what I want you to do is take your arms out and reach. And then drop down. And what you'll find here is a good decompression of your back and nice deep stretch through those hips. And what I want you to do is keep those feet flexed and just take some deep breaths. Find your center here. When you're ready, bring your hands underneath you. Let's switch sides. So now, left leg is underneath. Right leg is on top, knee to ankle, flex those feet. And remember, one side might be tighter than the other. So reach up, sit up tall, find that length, and then reach forward. Reach, 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 reach. And then when you're ready, add that depth. And if you can't find that depth today, that is okay. Drop your head down. Decompressing through that whole spine, rounding your back. And when you're ready, bring those hands underneath you. Unwind yourself. Sit comfortably. Good. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. Big inhale, reach it up. Bring it through your center. Hopefully you guys feel really good this morning. If you have any questions about anything that we did, put them in the comments. If not, have a wonderful week. Join us for our other live classes. Please like and share this video. And I will see you guys next week.